she wears a long fur coat or mink, even in the summertime. Yeah, that's some of the lyrics from the Glamorous Lights. All right. Welcome to the Purple Ladder Spotlight. Yes, and today we're going to talk about the Glamorous Life. It's our feature. So, how you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fine evening or a fine afternoon. Uh, Sunday, been watching the Olympics. Uh, been having an okay weekend so far. Great weather. And I hope you guys are blessed. Like always, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification. All right. This is the Purple Out of Spotlight song, The Glamorous Life, and we're going to talk about it. Yes. Sheila E. All right. The Glamorous Life is one of the most iconic songs from Sheila E. and one of the most enduring and hey this was this is when Prince was just on fire. During his time Prince was so prolific he was just belting out hit after hit after hit. He was just on fire. It was like a magical time. The word that the the Lindrum putting them out quick. And this one, he just, he struck gold with this one. Uh, because it was somewhat different. We knew it was the Prince, the Minneapolis sound. We knew Prince was in the background, but it sounded so different. But before I start getting into all, all of this, I'm going to give you some facts. The Glamour's Life is a song written by Prince, recorded by American percussionist Sheila E., and produced by both. The song has lyrics which reflect a cynicism for the decadence and materialism of the song's protagonist, or protagonist, or I'm sorry if I said that wrong, referred to in the third person who wants to lead a glamorous life although she is aware that without love, it ain't much. The Glamorous Life is the title track and closing song on Sheila E's debut solo album and reached number seven on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart, as well as number one on the Billboard Hot Dance Music Club Play chart. The track earned two Grammy Award nominations and three MTV Award nominations. In 2019, the original Prince demo of the song was released on his posthumous album Originals. Yes, I have that. Yeah, uh, let's get into some personnel. Sheila E. Lee, back in vocals, cowbells, timbells, cymbal. Prince co lead in back in vocals. Ibrahim QBA Lindrum. Yes, Larry Williams, saxophone. David Coleman, cello. And Jill Jones, backing vocals. Yeah, this was just a pure hit all over the place, all over the world. Like I said, top 10. It really has been an iconic song and nominated for two Grammys. So it was one of Prince's biggest song by at the time his protege and and he had you know Morris Day you know Jungle Love was a big hit at the time and it was a lot you think about Apollonia 6 or Vanity but this was the big hit and Prince at that time was on fire with his songs uh, Cindy Lauper did When We Your Mind and Chaka Khan did I Feel For You, which was nominated for a Grammy. So Prince was all over the place. 84 was his year, no doubt. But let's get to how iconic it is. It's going to forever be linked with Sheila E. And one thing about Sheila E. as a protege, she embodied that, I think, better than anybody. I always thought Vanity really took it to another level, but Sheila E 
had much more superior talent than Vanity for as the instruments, the drums, a better voice. And really, she embodied the moves. So the stage present, she was just on fire. So it, it really, really worked out. And this song, you just can't get enough of the song in itself. And, and the video, the visuals, the visuals was so good. And one thing I like about the video, it incorporated the background of Sheila E. As Sheila E being Latino and Creole. And when you look at it, you know, you know you got the Latino sound down packed with her family, her sister, her brother in there. And you see when they in the video, the visuals, they was uh you know, the people in the video dancing, that was more of a, a the Creole vibe, you know, of New Orleans and all that. With Sheila, you know, mother, I think from Louisiana. So, yeah, man, I loved it. I loved it. You know, so many iconic lines with the lyrics, man. Uh, and some of the lyrics that, you know, I... I really love, man, uh, like the secret street, they made love by the seven wave, you know, you know, the Esperance. So, and you look at, uh, they made, they made haste in the brown sedan that Mercedes, they drove to 55 on the secret street. They made love by the seven wave. She knew she had a problem. She thought real love. It's real scary. Money only pays the rent. Hey, Amen. <laughs> I love that line. Um, one of my late neighbor's friend, he used to sing that all the time, man. Uh, that line, you know, it, it's such an iconic line, Prince. You know, thank God he's in the song songwriters Hall of Fame. You know, he should have been in there to wait that long after his death. He, the guy is a great songwriter, you know, great lyrics. And Sheila E as well, you know, superior talent for both of them. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, the Glamorous Life, Sheila E will be doing this song until her death. But... As I keep seeing her appear, I'm going to always want her to do this song because it's so iconic. And it's one of those songs that has stood the test of time. So as I close, I always say peace, God bless, like, comment, subscribe. And yes, I will see you in another video. Thank you.